Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and next week in the open beta, we plan on releasing a joint helmet mounted queuing system, which will be paired with the AIM-9 uh, Sidewinders, in particular the AIM-9X with its high off foresight capability. Now later on, we'll be adding some additional functionality uh, to the helmet, like the uh, display of EW symbols, radar lock information, as well as being able to look at the ground to designate a ground target. But for next week, we're going to be focusing on slaving the seeker uh, using the HMD. So to get started, we'll go ahead and unpause it. And to turn it on, we'll rotate the HMD uh, knob here uh, clockwise. And we do so now we see the HMD if you're not looking directly at the HUD. So uh, in the middle, this cross is the DAC or the dynamic aiming queue. And the higher you're looking elevation, the higher it's on the HMD. At the very top is our elevation angle. Then we have our heading where we're looking. The heading of our aircraft, its altitude, airspeed, alpha, Mach, and G. So let's turn in these targets here, and we'll select an AIM-9 by pressing uh, down on the weapon select switch. And we do so, now we have a circle in the HMD, and that indicates where the seeker of the AIM-9 is looking. So to lock a target, what we'll do is we'll place that circle uh, over a target, and we'll press and hold the cage, uncage button, or C, uh, to lock it up. And a nice handy thing about the HMD is you can always you know, see where your airspeed and altitude is at almost all time. So over at target, press and hold, and launch. Uh, two down pretty fast. And to uh, break lock, just cage on cage again. And that's a little overview of how you use the uh, HMD with the AIM-9. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a really fun time next week with this. Thanks.